Yasin Athanasiadis is a freelance photographer with an eye for events that are off the beaten path. After three years of living in Tehran, he has moved to Istanbul, where he hopes to document not only the major news events in Turkey and the surrounding region, but also to capture the fabric and color of everyday life here. It's a tall order to spot and shoot compelling images and then go shop those pictures to news desks around the globe, but this photographer believes he just may have turned a corner in terms of getting more exposure and money for his work. He is one of the first contributors to a new London-based website called Demotics. CEO and founder Turi Monte explains the concept. We're a news website generated by the people for the people. Step one. Step two, and critical step. What we then do is we take the best of that information, those photos and videos, and we pump them out to the mainstream media. We sell them to the mainstream media. In a sense, we're like a street wire. Athanasiadis says he's willing to upload his photos to the site because Demotix acts as a kind of virtual agent. So for me it's great because Demotix gives me the opportunity to have my voice heard. It, has, it gives me the opportunity to get stories that aren't necessarily about politics or about geopolitics or the economy out to a large group of people. There's definitely a market out there for these kind of stories. There may be interest, but will there be a steady source of income? I should just tell you the response that we've had from the very few mainstream media organizations that we've started to approach has been spectacular. The Daily Telegraph, which is the biggest newspaper in the UK, um, as soon as I told them about Demotics, jumped on board immediately. They were our first partner. Le Monde has partnered with us on the same principle. And Le Monde has got fantastic response from their French users. They want something else. They want more. And as for verifying that those photos depict what contributors say they do, we're in touch with any contributor um, whose images we want to sell, firstly. And secondly, as we grow, one of the things that we've figured out is that nothing moderates itself better than a community of users. Matt Cowan, Reuters.